Hi, my name is Kevin Poe and I'm a project manager here at Bryce Canyon National Park. And this is our new solar array. This array will save us, and by extension the American taxpayer, $40,000 a year in electric bills. And unlike regular solar panels, which have to be completely replaced after just 20 or 25 years, this array will last 50 years and then only require some minor upgrades. Concentrating photovoltaic technology, also known as CPV, is the most efficient way to generate electricity from the sun. Manufactured by Arzon Solar and installed by Ridgeway Valley Enterprises, this array sits on just one-third acre of land and yet generates 400,000 kilowatts each and every year, more than twice what you would get from regular photovoltaic panels. Concentrating photovoltaic technology is all about magnification. So I'm holding here in my hands a Fresnel lens, which works like a gigantic magnifying glass, only with 900 times the magnification. So the light strikes this lens and then travels through this small little metallic chamber, looks kind of like a kaleidoscope, concentrating down onto a very specialized type of solar chip. These are triple junction chips, this little thing about half the size of a dime has three layers so that it can gather a broad section of the light spectrum. The top layer takes the ultraviolet light, which we happen to have a lot at this high elevation. The middle layer converts to electricity the optical light, and finally the bottom layer gathers even the infrared. Basically the heat energy also becomes electricity. To make it most efficient, it's got a big heat sink on the back of it, something like it would be on a computer processor, because the cooler you can keep the chamber, the more voltage you generate. So you have this kind of a system here and then you multiply it so you have 5,040 of these and all of that solar collection power is what constitutes one of these gigantic trackers you see behind me. That sun sensor up high on the center of the array, the actual amount of current being generated and a clock drive like the kind installed on precision telescopes all work together to tell the motors exactly where the sun is, even on a cloudy day. To precisely tilt and turn these 20 ton structures throughout every season of the year from dawn until dusk requires hydraulic motors. And in fact, it is the brute strength of the hydraulic motors that allow for precise tracking even in wind speeds up to 35 miles an hour. Normally slow and methodical, these same hydraulic motors, when that wind speed threshold is exceeded, will quickly force the entire structure up into a horizontal position, where so wind stowed, it can endure wind speeds up to 110 miles an hour, which is the equivalent of a Category 2 hurricane or an F2 tornado, neither of which we have to worry about in the high plateaus of southern Utah. Each tracker delivers an average rate of 75 kilowatt hours of electricity to its own inverter. These inverters made by Inga Team then convert that, that energy to alternating current with less than 1% energy loss, leaving more than enough electricity to power the entire 32,000 square foot Bryce Canyon Visitor Center and Administration Building. And as we check the inverters now, it looks like the south tracker is producing 70.7 kilowatts, where the north one is at 71.4. And that's a lot of energy for this early in the morning. On a sunny day like today, we're generating more than twice the electricity our visitor center building really needs. So our power meter right here, right now, is spinning backwards. Because this is a grid tie system, all the electricity that comes from sunny days will make up for our nighttime usage and also that of cloudy days. And the extra electricity will come in handy too because our next big project is to install electric charging stations for electric vehicles in our visitor parking lot just over here.